Hello, I'm Janelle Shala, and in this video I'm going to be discussing an unusual variety of quartz known as Brandberg quartz. Brandberg quartz comes from the Brandberg mountain region of Namibia. I can't pronounce the main mine for it, so I'm not even going to try. This piece that I'm showing you first is clear, but this is actually unusual because what's remarkable about this crystal is that it forms with amethyst and smoky quartz along with the clear quartz. And you sometimes get really clear zoning, like you'll get a phantom of amethyst in a clear crystal, or you'll get li little bits coming in, a little bit of amethyst here, a little bit of smoky quartz there. Stunningly beautiful, really unusual. You don't get this in very many areas, nothing quite like it. You'll notice with the clear one that there's something that looks like it could be damaged in the middle of the crystal. This isn't damage, this is actually a water pocket. These crystals form mainly as elestial crystals. I won't go into detail about elestial at the moment because I am going to cover it in another video. But elestial quartz does often form with water pockets in it, and sometimes the water pockets will have little air bubbles or gas bubbles in them trapped, and they'll move around. They're very pretty and very collectible. This piece is starting to go into amethyst. It's got a very, very pale purple color. Again, you've got the water pocket inside. You've got that trapped water. And what I love about these crystals, well, not what I love, I just love these crystals. They're so friendly to work with. They are so happy, gentle, lovely energy. I sometimes hand one to somebody if they're feeling depressed or down. And it's remarkably mood lifting. It's, it, it works as well as some of the crystals I would normally recommend for anti-depression. This one has more of the amethyst in it, but notice the zoning. You've got a streak of amethyst going down through the center of it. You've got clear on either side. It's not exactly a phantom in this one, but it's very close to it. And again, the water pockets. I'm also going to show you one that is mainly smoky, and you can see from the shape of it, if you know your crystals, you'll see the shape of it is very much like an elestial crystal forms, not quite as obviously a quartz as the other crystals. Um, very, very clear, and notice that the smoky is going, kind of undulating through it. It's not actually a smoky quartz point, it's just got a bit of smoky going through it. Some of these uh, crystals you'll find have been carved and polished. So they, well, not exactly carved. The, the faces have been polished and the bottom has been carved flat. So you get a crystal that you, is a, like a prism that you can put on an altar or you can have as a decorative piece. Again, looking at this one, you see the zoning. There's a very clear streak of amethyst with, which has uh, right next to it's going through clear quartz. I use these crystals not very much, um, sorry, let me restate that. I don't use these crystals very much in my practice as in putting them on clients, uh, laying on stones. They don't seem to lend themselves to that as much as meditation pieces. This is one of my own pieces and I've lent it to the, um, to the editor to have a, do a close up of. You can see that there's layers of amethyst, layers of smoky quartz. This one's an obvious celestial crystal, and you probably won't see it in the close-up, but it has three separate pockets of water with air or gas bubbles in them. I really love this, as I've already said, but I'm going to show you one last piece, and this is one that doesn't work. I don't find it quite that like gorgeous, lovely, yummy energy that you get from Brandberg Quartz most of the time. This is one of my pieces that you will not find this anymore. This is very, very unusual. It's an elestial crystal, but it's pure amethyst. There are water pockets in it, but you probably won't see them from the video. I haven't lent it, I have to say. I just wanted you to see it. It's um, it's an unusual one in that it helps with the work I'm doing. It's a kind of overseer. I keep it in my treatment room and in my teaching room. And what it seems to do is 
anything that's been released from a client or released through some of the work with classes, if it's something that shouldn't return to that person during the time, it will go to the crystal. The crystal will hold it and then it will release it later, which means it doesn't go back and re-enter the person's energy field. It's, a, it's quite a powerful thing for a crystal to decide it wants to do, and I just very much treasure it. I hope that at some point in your life you can find a brown quartz to be your companion.